everyone, welcome to the Daily Life Project channel. <laughs> okay, so today, haircut day, finally. Because it was going bad. <laughs> Can't work right with the long hair, you know. So, um, you'll see me a bit different <laughs> in this video. <laughs> Two words. How amazing is that? A male on a female. Right there. Look at that. So the shelter worked out, guys. <laughs> hey? How cool is that? Awesome. Very cool. I'm not close to them. I'm actually at a quite a distance. I don't want to be interfering, you see? So that's very cool. So it worked out. See, saving future generations, guys. Very cool. I'm glad that worked out. And there's another female right on top here. <laughs> so you can get a close up of a female. Look at that, guys. She's also a beauty. Very different than the rhinoceros one. The rhinoceros beetle has a lot of like uh, hair at, at the bottom, you know? <laughs> Not at the bottom, <laughs> beneath it. It's got like a lot of fur beneath it. Look at her hiding away. That's it. You gotta hide away. Get out of here. Because <laughs> of predators. Hide away. <laughs> there she goes. Okay. There you go. That's a good sign. That means she knows how to get away from the predators. That means that the shelter is really, really working out for them. So, we got males, females underneath there. Um, see? And now all is well. Now we can guarantee a future generation of these stag beetles, just like the rhinoceros beetles. So that's very good. Very happy with that. Now I've got a bit more leaves, more dead wood, because uh, the larvas then will need it, you know, once they start, once the larva starts hatching, they'll need to eat all this rotten wood, you know. So that's quite cool. The rhinoceros beetles, at night, they just fly away. So, I still have the little shelter for them down there. But uh, normally they just fly away, you know, at night. That's why at night we see them a lot. These ones here, normally they're active during the day. And that's why a lot of predators catch a hold of them, you know. And that's why to make a bigger shelter for them, so that they can spend the whole day underneath us. Like uh, almost two meter pellets, you know. So that was a good idea. Worked out well, and that one of the rhinoceros also worked out well because during the night, it's a very uh, cool, nifty shelter for them, you know, during the night. These pies are just like excellent. Even the way it cuts one hand doesn't break or anything. It's a little bit there. Oof. Look at that.
Quite a difference. Hey? Eh? <laughs> yes. Really needed it today. It was really, really hot day. We reached uh, almost 40 degrees Celsius. So, yes. If I hadn't cut this hair, oof, it would have been a disaster. And uh, got some cool, some very, very cool meat here for a video. It's the first time I'm ever having this. Look at that, guys. Amazing. It was like special price. So that will be really, I've never bought this because normally it's so expensive. But that will be a nice meal in the barbecue. And I can't wait to show you guys. It's just a big surprise for me. Take my food very seriously. Huh? <laughs>